Hey guys, I'm Cody Ordekanian, and this is another episode of Instant Replay, where you can always find the latest on CU Sports. The women's volleyball team is the CACC Conference Champions. The team had two wins over Holy Family University in the semifinals, and then Jefferson in the finals, both by a score of three games to one. What makes these games special was that the Cougars had lost to both teams during their regular season. The Cougars captured their first championship since 2011. The team's senior game was their last game of their regular season. They had a wonderful ceremony before the game, and they played against the Goldie Beacom College, and the ladies were fierce. They went to five sets and came out on top. Seniors Taryn O'Young, Gabrielle Bennett, Katrina Jansen, Jessica Mitchell, Daniel Lee Morales, and Melissa Sheehan were accompanied by their family who showed them support on their special day. The ladies, the ladies started off strong with Taryn O'Young serving the first three points of the game and Katrina Jansen helping with the big block. Katrina had a total of four blocks and was the team leader of kills with a total of 11. Following this game, she also earned title of CACC Player of the Year along with Jessica Mitchell, who earned Defensive Player of the Year. Avery was also a huge contender who finished second on the team for kills. The ladies worked together offensively and defensively against the Lightning, assuring them a spot in the playoffs. Yaya Gonzalez has more on the night, which took place right before the tournament. Today is um, the senior game, so I can imagine you guys have a lot of thoughts and feelings going right through your head. So now, what's one of the biggest thoughts that you guys are thinking right now at this moment? I can't believe it's almost over. Yeah, this is it's one of our last home games. Yeah. We've been here, we've been playing for four years. It's kind of crazy we won't be here anymore. It's bittersweet. Yeah. <laughs> the team showed resilience and looks to continue on their success in the NCAA Division II tournament, which starts on November 30th. The men's basketball team has gotten off to a slow start. They fell this past Saturday to the College of St. Rose by a final score of 50-48. to This was a back-and-forth game against the 4-1 Golden Knights. The Cougars were led by senior Derek Dorn, who finished with 11 points. The Cougars have lost their last three games by a combined five points and have shown promise for the season ahead. Their next game is Sunday, November 26th against Palm Beach Atlantic University. The women's basketball team is off to a hot 3-0 start. This past Thursday, they defeated LIU Post by a score of 69-63. Kristen Drogsler was the leading scorer in the game with 19 points. The Cougars shot a remarkable 16 of 19 from the free throw line, which helped them close out the game. The ladies put their undefeated record to the test tonight at 5 p.m. at Malloy College. Monique Stefanski previewed the season with head coach Tori Jones and senior Kristen Drogsler on their expectations for the year. You used to go here and used to play on the basketball team. Uh, what is it like for you to be back at Caldwell? Um, I'm so happy to be back. Um, I played here four years, um, graduated in 2013. Um, this is like my second home. I have some of the best memories here. Um, so I'm just happy to be back um, and be, being able to coach a team that I take so much pride in. Um, so I'm just happy to be back and I have a great group of young women that um, I'm able to coach every day. So I know your roster is small this year. You only have 10 girls on the team. Uh, what are some worries that you have, um, such as like injuries and foul trouble? Um, I'm okay with 10. Uh, we can only play five, you know, so that means we, um, we have five subs. So I'm, I'm okay with having 10. Um, and I have a, a, gr a good group of 10, you know, uh, whereas like, you know, if we sub, we don't have too much drop off. Um, so I'm okay with having 10. So I think everyone gets the, uh, an opportunity to play. Um, so being pre-ranked uh, um, as number one in the conference, mm -hmm. uh, what are some expectations you have for this season? Um, I have big expectations just because I played here and I, you know, I know that we have a winning culture here at Caldwell. Yeah. Um, so I have big expectations. You know, we talk about it every day. Like, you know, we want to win a CAC championship. And right. since we've been NCAA Division II, um, since 2002, we haven't been able to do that. So my goal um, is to win a CAC championship. And um, like, I, like you've seen in Scout, it was one team, one goal. And our yeah. one goal is to win. So last year you were named CACC Player of the Year. Uh, now that you have this title, do you feel like you have a target on your back? Um, I think I do, but I think it could work to our advantage. Um, 
they're going to put pressure on me, double team me, and I think it'll give opportunities to my teammates. So you guys had a really good season last year, um, especially making it to the NCAAs. Um, what's your approach for this upcoming season? I'm trying to take it game by game. Um, the overall goal is to win the conference championship, so I'm trying to take it game by game and focusing on each win. So now that you're a senior, uh, this is the last year that you will be wearing the Cougar uniform. Uh, what do you want to take away from this season? Um, trying to enjoy every moment because each year you're like, oh, I'll get them next year. But there is no next year this right. time. So <laughs> just trying to enjoy every experience and trying to win every game and win the CAC championship in the end. The women's bowling team lost all three matches in their UMES Hawk Classic tournament this weekend by a score of four games to two. They competed against Monmouth University, St. Francis College, and Tulane University. Danielle Roca earned all tournament honors as she finished in fourth place with a traditional average of 215.8. She posted a high game of 237, and next up on the schedule is their first NEC meet that takes place on December 1st. That's all for this episode of Instant Replay. I'm Cody Ordekanian, and thanks for watching.